If you're new to service workers and you've been trying to follow some code examples, you may have a question. What is event.waitUntil? In this video, I'm going to tell you what you need to know about event.waitUntil. Hey guys, Chris Love, the owner of Love to Dev, and in this video, we're going to talk about event.waitUntil. Now, this is a very new function that you may not have familiarity with. If you're just starting off in service worker development, you've no doubt encountered this in, in code examples all over the web. But you may not have a clue what this function does or why you need to use it. Well, this is a very important function for service workers in the install and activate event. Now, when you bind an event handler to either install or activate, that event can close at any time. But if you wrap your activity, which should be in a promise, inside event.waitUntil, that it utilizes uh, the one member, the, really the one member, uh, if you look at the actual spec that's underneath, well, essentially the code that's underneath the hood, this event object that's being passed to your install or activate event uh, handler is um, actually an ex what they call an extended event, okay, or extendable event. And it has a member uh, called wait until. And the purpose of this function is to hold the event handler open until all of the action has happened. And honestly, the way it's really written is until the promise that's being executed inside of that wait until function is finished and has completed. Now that could be either uh, returns, uh, resolves, or rejects, right? So we've, the promise we have either resolve or reject, and we handle that with either a then or a catch function, okay? So basically what we're gonna do in this particular code example is we're going to call self.addEventListener and then we're going to say install and that's going to be the event we're going to bind a handler to and actually I got my syntax wrong here but we'll do event into a callback function. Now inside of our handler we're going to call event.waitUntil which is a member of this event object or the parameter that's going to be passed to our handler uh, from the, uh, the subsystem here. Okay, now inside of this await until function, we're going to execute something. Now this needs to be based on a promise because everything inside of service workers is now promise based. You need to keep that in mind. Now I didn't write anything in here because I don't want to like glue you into anything in particular, but just know that this is a promise and when this promise finishes execution, that's when this wait until essentially returns control back to the system so that it knows that it's safe to essentially close that event uh, handler out completely. Otherwise, you could literally be in the middle of executing code and this event handler would just close up, right? And that's one of the, one of the issues you have to be cognizant of when you start working with asynchronous programming. Now, this example is an install event we could just as easily done activate. Now, one of the things about the activate event that you need to be aware of, and the real, one of the reasons why this wait until is extremely important in the activate event, is um, while the service worker is becoming activated or taking over control of the clients, the, uh, your web page, for example, may be making calls to the network, and they need to go through the fetch event handler. And what really goes on is... Um, you could actually have those, those pass through uh, and get, essentially get hung up in that fetch event handler uh, with your activate event. So basically your activate event handler is going to be there and what's going to happen is those fetch events that you're intercepting are literally going to wait until you finished executing that activate event. All right. And so you need to be cognizant of that as well. So that could be another problem you may have. All right. Cooper is going to join us because he's getting excited about this, and maybe you're excited about service workers too. And if you've got any questions about the event.waitUntil function, um, please leave those in the comments below. I'd love to have a dialogue with you. If you've got general questions about service workers, feel free. I want you to leave questions and comments below, and we can have a great dialogue, and maybe I can uh, use those as guidance to make future videos. All right. Now, if you like this video and you think it's helpful, 
definitely hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Uh, we want to be able to help as many people as possible understand service workers and progressive web apps. And we've got all kinds of great resources available for you at love to dev and on our Facebook page as well. Thanks a lot. I'm Chris Love, the owner of love to dev